guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk eyeshadow palettes. I have lots of eyeshadow palettes. My husband might say that I have a problem buying eyeshadow palettes, but um, I love eyeshadow and I love new releases of eyeshadow palettes. So I'm gonna talk you through the ones that I have, what I like, what I don't like, very few of them that I don't like, but how they work, how they work for me, and I suppose just the ones that I'd recommend for you, depending on your needs. So let's get started. So I'm gonna go way back, way back to yesteryear and start with a good old Naked palette. Naked palette, guys. Who has not had one of these? These are just amazing. And mine, as many people's are, mine is battered. Uh, naturally enough, the first three are my favorites. They're fab. I think this is actually my second one of these. They were amazing back in the day. They really, really were. And they were such a luxury item and they were super expensive as well because back then it was like 45 euro for an eyeshadow palette. What even is that? So it is an oldie but a goodie, a big OG item. They're fantastic. They were fantastic. The quality I find, like I do dip into them every now and again and we've just come so far with eyeshadows lately that the quality is not up to par in comparison to some of the other ones that are out lately but um I couldn't not mention it and it's still in my collection and I will not throw out my naked palette ever um it came with a if I if I'm correct it came with a uh, an eyeshadow primer and a brush as well so it was like the proper little kit back in the day it was so handy so that is the Urban Decay Naked One palette when I graduated from the Naked palette, I graduated on to the Blank Canvas Master Series 1 palette. I still think that this is absolutely fabulous. Again, comparing it to what's out now, the shadows, the longevity of the shadows are probably not up to par with what is out at the moment, but it still is just such a fabulous palette. It has all of the gorgeous neutral colors that you need, and there's no shimmer. Oh, there's one shimmer in it. Goddess is the only shimmer in it. Um, it's quite nice. It's just very, very low key. I don't even know if you can see that. I'm so white today. So again, the Masterclass Series 1 palette came with a lovely blank canvas brush, which was really nice, and I've dipped into this so, so many times. It is fabulous for your everyday, neutral colored eye and definitely a good one to have in your collection. Speaking of a good one to have in your collection and this is kind of mirrors a similar color scheme <laughs> of those ones there. My Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. So I did get this in um, Ulta actually when I was in, where was I? San Francisco on our honeymoon and this is absolutely gorgeous. Again, a very similar kind of color story in these as it is to the blank canvas one. But again, this is a lovely big mirror and it also has these bigger shadows, which I absolutely loved. In the Naked palette, you had these three here and they were just so handy for putting them on really quick in the morning going into work. When I saw this, I thought, oh, look, these are massive. They have the right idea. Too Faced have the right idea for this. So we, they have their three kind of like nude colors, nude matte colors in, again, not sure if you can see it, in um, bigger pans, which I absolutely loved. And then all of these gorgeous warm toned browns, um, a fabulous, a fabulous palette. I love the size of this palette. It is literally the size of my hand. Pop it into your makeup bag, bring it wherever you want. It's lovely. The only downfall for me with this palette is the smell. I don't know, it's it's like, I think it's meant to kind of smell chocolatey. Um, yeah, I just don't like the smell of it. Whatever it is, it's kind of like just fake and sweet and yeah, I just don't really like it, but um, I love everything else about it. So that is the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. The next two are, they're, they're again, they're kind of like the Urban Decay Naked One Palette. They hold sentimental value in my life because they were the palettes that I used to do my very first YouTube makeup tutorial and they are the Model Zone palettes. I haven't been using these as much as I have lately because I've obviously bought so many other palettes, but they are lovely. And the price point, I remember at the time, they were just so, so good. So that is the, look, as you can see a total trend. Um, but this one has your five shimmers and your five mattes in this as well. Again, I'll link up above the uh, video that I created using this palette. That's the Barely There number two palette. So that was absolutely lovely. Again, nice shimmers, warm tone, neutral browns. That's kind of my life. 
but the Silk Fly palette was completely different. And this was kind of very creamy, shimmery, crazy shades that you could definitely create a really dramatic look with. So I did love those. They're in my collection. Like I say, they hold a little bit of sentimental value. So I won't be giving them away or doing anything with them just yet. I do think they're really handy and they're quite lovely. The next eyeshadow palette, I'm actually going to show you two of them because I have two of them and they are the Revolution makeup palettes. This is Neutrals 2. So Neutrals 2, sorry you see my ring light, Neutrals 2 actually consists of kind of pinky and orangey shades. Um, it looks crazy. It's not like me to buy these kinds of colours. Like, I don't really know what came over me but they work. They're absolutely lovely. Um, a lot of these ones as well are really nice for work just on a regular day. These kinds of ones here, oops, these kinds of ones here and there's a nice couple of shimmers there as well. So really, really nice one. The other one, which is called Iconic Fever, contains more, again, warm tone neutral browns. Shocker. <laughs> That's what this one looks like. This one I saw my sister using. Actually, I went into my sister's room when she was getting, to, getting ready to go out one night and I looked at her eyeshadow I was like, that's amazing. And she told me she was using this. So I went out and bought it. These guys, by the way, are, mm, are they four or five euro? They're unreal. Uh, the pigmentation is outrageous in them and the staying power is fantastic. They're such premium eyeshadows for such an amazing price. Like you just can't go wrong with Revolution eyeshadows and the palettes are just like, it's quite obvious that they don't spend money on the packaging, which I'm totally fine with. I don't need amazing packaging on my palettes. They put their money and their time and their energy into the actual shadows, which yeah, I'm all about that life. That's That works for me. Again, you've got a couple of shimmers, but the majority of them are warm tone neutral browns in matte, which just sings to my soul. The next palette that I'm going to talk about has been an absolute favourite of mine from the minute it was delivered to my desk in work. I'll never forget it. I was having a really crappy day in work and I ordered this particular palette and it came and it just gave me so much joy. And I think I have it, maybe I have it a year. Um, it's the Jaclyn Hill palette. So again, I have a video on this too that I'll link above the usual. But uh, this guys, this is an amazing palette. I love it so much. It is huge. That's the only downside to it is the size. Like, look, it's is it bigger than my head? I don't know. It's pretty big. Um, it's huge. It doesn't have a mirror. That's fine. Because you get gorgeous, high quality Morphe shadows in this. So again, I'm not going to go to town on telling you about all of these because I have it in a video. And I think absolutely everyone under the sun has talked about the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, I love it. I, do you know what? I don't take it out enough because it's so massive. That's the only reason that if I'm in a rush in the morning, I'm more likely to pick up one of these guys than to reach for like a big, huge palette, which I know it's a bit fickle of me, but uh, yeah, like I genuinely thought that once I bought the Jaclyn Hill palette, I would have no need for any more eyeshadow palettes. But I mean, like, who is I trying to kid? The next palette is the one that I've most recently done a makeup look with on YouTube. It is the Michelle Fox palette. Again, I've gone through this in depth. So have a look back on my video if you want to see what this looks like. I'll just give you a little sneak peek of the inside of it. It's a stunning, stunning palette. And I have used this, I would definitely say I've used it every day since I got it. Of the, day, of the days I've worn makeup, I used it every day. Um, if I haven't used the eyeshadows, I have used the bronzer, the blush, and this gorgeous Milo. Oh my God, like this is just fabulous. Whether you can see that or not. Oh, like that, just look at that. Anyway, I've gone into so much detail in this. I don't want to over talk about it in this video, but it's fab. It is 35 euro. You can get it in a bigger set as well. And it's Michelle Fox palette with fuchsia. Fabulous, fabulous palette. Last but not least, one of my absolute favourites. Kaylee So Sue palette. Um, this is amazing. Even though some people have said to me that these colours actually freak them out a bit, which is totally fine. It's an incredibly versatile palette. And that is, in my opinion, is down to this white colour. So if you want any colour, you can get it from this palette. 
100%. You mix that white with any of these, you mix these different colors, you can get any color. It's an amazing palette in the literal sense. And when you think of palette, now we think of eyeshadows, but years ago a palette was literally like an artist's palette where you mix your colors. This is an actual artist's palette. Um, if you're not familiar with Kaylee, I mean, what have you been doing with your life? I just don't understand. She's an artist of the highest order. Her looks are out of this world and it's no surprise that she brought out an actual artist's palette in the form of this eyeshadow palette. It is stunning. Don't be afraid of it. It's fabulous use it. <laughs> this one here, Aura, I actually haven't had a chance to use just yet, but I know that it is just like, can you deal? Oh my God, fabulous, fabulous. So that is the Kaylee Sosu Urban Bible Palette. So guys, that is a quick run through of all of my eyeshadow palettes. I love them all dearly in different ways for different things and they just give me so much joy. So please comment down below and let me know what palettes you have that I haven't included here. Um, I would love to get my hands on, I'm not too fussed on Jeffree Star stuff, it's very dramatic for me, but um, I'd love a chance to try Kat Von D, um, despite, you know, the controversy around her. And yeah, that's kind of it. I pretty much buy the palettes that I know I'll use and that I know I like. So I'm really happy with my lot. But if there's any other ones that you use that you think are worth investing in, I'd love to hear about it because I'm always open for excuses to buy makeup. You know that. So that's it from me guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you could subscribe, that would be amazing. I'm also trying to grow my little family here on YouTube. So if you could hit that subscribe button, there's also a little notification bell beside the subscribe button. And that will give you notifications every time I upload. So you'll be the first to be informed. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.